guys have not taught art well. Yeah. A lot of artists have learned art outside of the school setting or the school setting was very restrictive in terms of the creativity it allowed. So people are uh, every every time we sit like among his home is it's like the first time we do have to buy a house, a car, mm. his paintings in a way. No, but a lot of people have yeah. no taste, man. Like, truthfully speaking, <clears throat> this is a place where you could come and ask me to customize a room to your taste, yeah? Like, there's no limit to what I can offer you. I don't just offer you what's on the walls, yeah? If it's about a mural, we could sit down with you and I'll just, you know, discuss an idea. If you want your room to really be a space station, or a child's room to really be a jungle. This is something that you can give me that creative challenge, and then it's a different canvas, you know? But I feel like people don't really know how to consume art. They walk around on the street, they see somebody at the car window with something on a box that has been replicated a million times, but you know, and because their wall is empty and they really weren't taught what good art looks like, I would say that really, the majority of Kenyans need art school. They need an art education, an art appreciation class. And this goes even for their tastes in music. And I'm not being harsh. I'm being yeah, loving. Stand, yeah. uh, if you hear me, dear Kenyan, I'm loving you. Uh, get smarter. Art-wise. <laughs> uh, it, it's not even your fault. The syllabus did it. These guys have not taught art well. Yeah. A lot of artists have learned art outside of the school setting or the school setting was very restrictive in terms of the creativity it allowed so what can i say <laughs> <laughs>